Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make this cool looking 3D liquid reveal all inside After Effects without using any third party plugins. It's a completely procedural effect, so you can easily swap between logos, texts, and other media, and the effect will auto update itself. So, with that said, let's begin. So, in After Effects, I created a new comp with 1920x1080p. 6 seconds long and named it placeholder. This is the comp where we're gonna put all of our text or logos that we wanted to get affected by this effect. For this example, I'm using a text layer. I typed it in and centered it. I created another comp with the same dimensions and named it map. I created a white solid and named it wave. I added a linear transition by going effect, transition, linear wipe. I set the wipe angle to 0 and animated the transition completion from 100 to 0 around the 4 second mark. Also turned the last keyframe into easy ease. After this I added a wave warp by going effect, distort, wave warp. In the wave warp, I set the wave height to 87 and the wave width to 65. Set the wave speed to 0, pinning to top edge and finally set the anti-aliasing to high. After this, I duplicated the wave warp and changed the wave height and wave width to 61 and 93 respectively. I duplicated it one more time and changed the wave height and wave width to 126 and 40 respectively. Also set the wave type from sine to circle. Now we can see how the dripping worked, but as you can see, it's not covering the entire screen. To fix this, I duplicated this layer and animated its position property, then timed the position keyframe so it looked like one seamless animation. After this, I created a shape layer and started drawing different lines. I animated its position property and offsetted the layer in the timeline so they start a bit later. Also, these dripping lines are a bit faster than our main drips. After this, I created an adjustment layer and added turbulent displacement by going effect, distort, turbulent displace. I changed the amount to 26, size to 36, and also added a time expression over the evolution by alt clicking and typing time times 10. Now, if we take a RAM preview, we can see this map has a little bit of wavy animation to it. I created another adjustment layer and renamed it BNL for blur and level effect. I added a Gaussian blur by going effect, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur and set the blur radius to 16. Then went to effect, color correction, levels. I set the channels to alpha and adjusted the input black and input white values to merge all the layers beneath. This will make the entire map look a bit more organic as you can see. I created a new comp with the same values and named it basic reveal. I dragged the map and the placeholder comp inside this composition and set the placeholder comp to the map comp as an alpha track mat. Now if we take a RAM preview, we can see how the text is getting revealed. After this I created another comp, same dimension and named it final reveal and dragged the basic reveal inside it. I duplicated this comp and offset it in the timeline a bit and added a drop shadow by going effect, perspective, drop shadow. In the drop shadow effect, I changed the opacity to 100, direction to 180 degrees, distance to 14 and softness to 16. This will create a nice shadow and a cascading effect to our map. But if I toggle the transparency button, you can see the drop shadow is also affecting the transparent places. In order to fix this, I turned on the preserve transparency button, which will make this layer visible only if there is something beneath it. In the transparent area, the layer will not be visible. I duplicated this comp one more time and offsetted all of them in the timeline till I was happy with it. And after a RAM preview, this is what we got.
Now let's build the final part of this animation. I created another new comp and named it final build and dragged the final reveal inside it. Then I used the previous method of blurring the comp and tightening it again with the levels to get a more organic look. Then I went to effect, color correction, tint to recolor the comp. After this, I went to effect, stylize, CC plastic. And you can see just with the default values, it already looks pretty good. But let's see if we can make it even better. I open up the effect properties and change the light height to 90, light direction to 349, ambient to 50, diffuse to 50, roughness to 0.002 and metal to 10. And that's it. After a RAM preview, this is what we get. As you can see, it's a pretty cool reveal and since it's completely procedural, you can go into the placeholder comp and change the graphic and everything gonna get updated. All the settings in the CC plastic effect is pretty self-explanatory. So get this project file and start playing with it to come up with your own new look. That's the best way to learn anything. So start experimenting. Thank you all for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Like this video and please do consider subscribing if you learned anything new. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.